Hey guys. I know it's been a while. I've been going through a lot of changes in my life recently and uh, I will be uploading a video about all those and like the future of the channel and everything uh, soon but I kind of wanted to do something for y'all. A little, well, pretty big unboxing video. It's going to be a bit long but I'm going to try to get it going as fast as possible for these box uh, unboxing videos from now on. I will be putting timestamps in the description to whatever movie. So if you don't really have a lot of time for the video, you can go to the description, find movies that you know, and like just go to them, hear my thoughts, hear why I bought them, whatever. So uh, this time I have a whatnot uh, haul from five different five different sellers. There's this, these two, this big old box is going to be last, these, and this box. So I'm going to say who the sellers are, and I'm going to like go through the movies one at a time, and uh, yeah, I'm going to end on the big box. So I guess I'll start out with the diversified sellers one. Uh, <laughs> funny thing I actually because whatnot charges individually so with each movie or item you buy it ca counts as one charge to PayPal and if you surpass a certain amount it'll be like oh somebody's messing with your credit card or whatever so yeah uh, I wasn't gonna get a ton more but yeah uh, from diversified sellers I got a couple I got my Friend Dahmer, Ross Lynch, Anne Hesch, Dallas Roberts, Alex Wolf, Vincent Kartheiser. I've been very interested in this film. I, I've i seen it's on Prime. I, I, well, because I like indie films, I wanted to support them, get the movie. I, I know I didn't buy it from them, but I'm, I'm wondering how well Ross Lynch will play Jeffrey Dahmer. And... Not because I remembered loving this movie, but it was cheap. I, I didn't want to, like, <laughs> spend $10 anywhere else. Gina Carano's in it, so of course I got Deadpool. I just don't remember being really into the humor. I thought the action was kind of meh. For a Marvel movie, it's violent, but not... Or for an MC... I guess this is an MCU movie. I'm not too sure about that. I've heard people say different things. Yeah, this is the movies from Hank Fan 77 I got three from him well three things from him got American Outlaws Colin Farrell Scott Kahn Ali Larder I like all three of these actors seemed like a fun action western and uh, I like when westerns aren't too long I hate when they're over long ton of features actually uh like a lot of making of stuff this is about jesse james and cole younger apparently so yeah very curious about that recently saw the trailer for this very much looking forward to it secret of my success with michael j fox i don't think this has a blu-ray i'm not sure this would have a blu-ray it's not exactly a huge movie or anything it's just kind of a well-known comedy and last from that one Hannibal Lecter triple feature I already have Manhunter I needed Sansa Lambs and Hannibal so now really all I need is Red Dragon and uh, Hannibal Rising which I remember liking Hannibal Rising more than Hannibal my thoughts on Sons of the Lambs. I think Sons of the Lambs is... I'd have to watch them all again. I remember really liking Sons of the Lambs. Jodie Foster's really good. The other actors, I can't think of their names right now. Um, the guy who played Buffalo Bill was really good. In Hannibal, I had problems with the tone. And the fact that Ridley Scott as director went for a more like gory thing and that's not really the point of uh, the 
sorry, I'm I'm still sick. Uh, the, the Anthony Hopkins version of Hannibal Lecter wasn't meant to be like a gory like killer and all that. I I don't understand that version of the character at all. But yeah, uh, I am glad to have all three of these at least on DVD. So yeah. That's two to go, th th two, two down, three to go. This is the where it's Aiden Supal. I'll I'll put his uh, account down in the description. But yeah, didn't get a ton from him. Did get three. Got. Project Almanac. Interested in this movie. I do have it on DVD, but I thought go ahead get on. Excuse me, get on Blu-ray. Uh, it is very odd. They don't list any of the actors on the back, which is odd. You don't get that very often. But yeah, it looks like a fun sci-fi movie. And I need more science fiction movies. Uh, I guess I'll do the new one last. The Wes Anderson two movie collection, Fantastic Mr. Fox and Isle of Dogs. I have never seen Isle of Dogs. It was ten bucks for both of them. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Isle of Dogs is still relatively new. I remembered really liking Fantastic Mr. Fox. I remembered really liking the acting, the, the stop motion. I wish stop motion animation was more of a thing still but yeah not a bad set here and the suicide squad sorry about that i should have turned that suicide squad the suicide squad not suicide squad directed by james gunn i'm i am really looking forward to watching this i have to watch the original suicide squad i'm very curious how bad that is because I've heard people say that about it. But yeah, um, it's still in package. But yeah. Now to the Blaze 54. Got quite a few from this guy. Very nice, very nice guy. Everybody who I bought from was very nice. Very uh, open to, cause, I, cause I'm kind of a, I'm kind of, <laughs> how do I describe this? I'm, I'm a bit needy sounding sometimes. I'll be like, oh, can we go ahead and run that one? But yeah, um, ugh. got a few from this guy. Guess I'll start with these and go with this really cool collection thing last. Riot, Caged to Kill. Been trying to build up my Dolph Lundgren, uh, my Dolph Lundgren collection along with everything else. I know the case looks pretty shitty, but it was a dollar, literally. So, say I didn't do too terrible. Vanishing with Gerard Butler, Peter Mullen. I've heard mixed things about this, but you hear mixed things about pretty much every Gerard Butler film. Uh, it says tense action-packed thriller. I did not know this was supposed to be action. But yeah, um, I really like Gerard Butler, Law Abiding Citizen, um, the Has Fallen trilogy. Like, I, I, I'm really looking forward to playing even though that title sucks, or The Plane, I think it, yeah, Plane is what it's called. But yeah, wanted to see those. Don't judge me. I got it so I wouldn't have to spend six bucks to rent it, so I got it for a dollar. Uh, Michael Chiklis, Bruce Willis. I know this is one of those movies Bruce Willis did when he had aphasia, and well, he still has aphasia. When they found out he had aphasia. So, he 
he's not really in the movie that much. I'm I'm thinking of maybe doing a marathon of Bruce Willis movies at some point when I have most of them. But I I that'll probably be way in the future. But yeah. This I was very curious about this. I haven't seen this. Uh but I don't mind Tom Cruise really. I I think he can come out with some very interesting stuff like Night and Day. I thought Night and Day was very subversive and that it really made fun of Tom Cruise. This seems like a movie where he would be having fun and it's like true exploits, true story kind of thing. I'm a sucker for that. This is something that my dad, uh, my dad, I, th I think I thought that I was getting the absolutely fabulous movie, but it's the absolutely fabulous 20th anniversary specials and the TV show, the entire series, uh, with, uh, J Jennifer Saunders and Joanna Lumley. I, I've heard great things about both of these. I've heard that they're very fucking funny and it looks up my alley, but yeah, uh, maybe I'll find the movie sometime. I just remember my dad loved this, loved both, loved the show and the movie when he uh was a when he was a flight attendant going to britain or to london all the time and this is the thing i'm the proudest of getting i think i got this for like 10 bucks it is the where are they the clint eastwood dirty harry uh Ultimate Collector's Edition. So you've got... I finally got... All five. Right there. There's quite a few... Collector's items. There's a... Collector's Discs right there. Personal message from Clint Eastwood. Pictures. I think this is a. Uh, I'm not gonna open this right now. I'll open it later. But I'm pretty sure this is like for a FBI badge. That's pretty cool. And then you've got the movies themselves and this extra disc. I think. I think that's what that is. No, it's a booklet. But yeah. I think I got this for about 10 bucks. It says 15 here. I'm pretty sure he moved it down to 10 But this usually costs like 50 bucks, So I'm happy that I got it. But yeah, now. Ooh. Onto this big old box. From... Vega underscore Dominion. Excuse me. Got quite a few from this dude. Again, very nice. Very helpful when I wanted to bring up certain movies. But yeah, I've got these in alphabetical order because there was... Most of these are really just like me trying to get more films from a certain actor or um, trying to build up a collection of a certain actor's work and all that. But yeah. Backtrace, Ryan Guzman, Sylvester Stallone, Matthew Modine. This is a weird one. I've heard bad things about it, but here's the thing. On the back of here, it acts as if Matthew Modine is supposed to be the main character. Uh then why is he the and and is usually for an actor that's in the movie for like five minutes so i don't it it, it says that the entire story revolves around his character i'm just very confused by that but yeah heist uh bank heist gone wrong interesting to me yeah <laughs> Black Butterfly, Antonio Banderas, Jonathan Rhys Myers. I like both of these actors. Uh, uh, Piper Parabo is also in it. 
really like her. She's a hottie. <laughs> She's still very hot. Um, but yeah, uh, bloody action crime thriller sounds interesting. Of course, it's based off a uh, oh, based on a French film. Interesting. Yeah, y'all, y'all are gonna make fun of me for this. It was cheap. I, I've heard this is good. I've heard it that it's good. True story. Uh, and these actors like Mike Vogel, Erica Christensen, Faye Dunaway, Robert Forster. That's a pretty good cast. I'm very curious. I know it's Pure Flix. Pure Flix gets a bad rap a lot, but that cast, how can I say no? I've been trying to see more Christian movies and see if any of them are any good. This is another one I, I'm very like, uh, well, I, I, I think this is just a movie movie, but it's got actual troops in it, uh, actual army national guard troops citizen soldier I I just I'm I'm not director of the hornet's nest I don't know what that is I think real people real heroes that sounds very similar to I'm not gonna grab it right now but uh act of valor that was a movie that also had like active duty troops acting in it and apparently from what I heard it was like porn level acting which sounds about right it's an interesting idea to have a war movie or a military movie starring troops that it's a cool idea at least they're getting paid for something like not getting paid for working for our country are they this one i'm very curious about action horror the day very interesting cast i like sean ashmore but yeah uh wwe studios i swear to god like Michael Eklund's also in this. I like Michael Eklund. Did he, like, do WWE dirty so he had to, like, appear in a bunch of WWE films? I swear to God, I've seen him in, like, four. Like, it's it's such a random thing, I know. But, yeah. Just curious about that. Domino. The, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Brian De Palma's latest film, I think. Pretty decent cast. Nicolai Costovaldo from Game of Thrones and a lot of other stuff. I saw him in The Silencing. Oh god, that sucked. Um, if you liked The Silencing, you're allowed to. I know a lot of people liked it, but me and my mom, we did not like it. We hated the twists and shit. But yeah. Karis Van Houten from um I think she was in Black Death I still haven't seen that maybe she was in some TV show I can't think maybe she was also in Game of Thrones Guy Pierce, love Guy Pierce. The I remembered this being good it's not it's better than Femme Fatale <laughs> it's better than Femme Fatale from Brian De Palma uh but a lot of things are better than Femme Fatale. I need to watch that again and just give it a more straight review. Because I always thought that it was like, uh, eh, it's fine. But yeah, I, I, I can't remember much good about it right now. But yeah, Domino, it, it's very pressing issues. They're, they're, uh, it's a Copenhagen police officer and uh, a cop, a, a, a fellow cop against ISIS members. So, a very pressing film when it came out, 2019. Got really bad reviews. I, I don't think it's terrible. Brian De Palma's directing definitely helps. He definitely knows how to make a movie very tense, and there are many tense parts of this. It's also very bloody, um, which I wasn't expecting, and there were some moments that were actually really like tense and, and just really gripped me. There was a scene with the woman in the hijab shooting up the 
red carpet event that was like I want to I won't give too much away just that was like <laughs> very like I don't think it used the current day event thing in a bad way I think it did it in a good way but yeah it's worth it for the acting actors alone and that it's Brian De Palma it's better than passion with uh and that hurts me to say with uh Numi Rapace and Rachel McAdams. Yeah. It's better than that. That was pretty bad. But yeah. Wanted to own it. Sorry for all the sniffling. I'm. Just, again, I'm still sick. Fire with Fire. I remember seeing a couple things from this. Ugh, sorry. And, and I remember thinking, yeah, oh, that looks decent. But yeah, it's one of the earlier Bruce Willis second star things. Most of the guy for Josh Duhamel and Rosario, Rosario Dawson. I like both of them. Pretty decent cast looking at the back. But yeah, I, I, I could see myself watching this. <laughs> this is the film I wanted on Blu-ray so bad. The International. Love this movie. I still wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. I will say that saying it is a an action... The, this quote on the front, I think, kind of ruined the film because people went into it expecting action. There's one fantastic action scene, one fantastic shootout in the Guggenheim where they recreated it just for that scene. It is fantastic. It is worth the price of admission alone. The film itself is also very damn good. Uh, but grabs you from the get-go an action thriller for our times, I think that's not a good... <laughs> that's not really a good idea to go there. But yeah, um... It's not an action thriller. It's an espionage thriller crime kind of thing. But yeah, other than that action scene, there are scenes of people getting shot or people dying, but they're not really action scenes. It's It's more in a way that, like... It's more in the way of, like, classic action or classic thrillers from, like, the 70s where a couple people get shot and then at the end there's, like, a big old action scene. It's it's paced kind of similarly to Rolling Thunder with William Devane and Tommy Lee Jones. Even though I love this movie so much more than that, I was ne not crazy about that movie. But, like, I just... Like... For, for most of the movie, like, it's it's very, like, building up character, um, setting tension, and with, with this, that action scene isn't even at the end. The ending is very uh, thought-provoking, actually. Th this film kind of got, I think, kind of got written off as a dumb action movie, even though it's not an action movie. But yeah, it's based on the actual IBBC bank shit where they were funding, like, terrorist attacks and, like, arms deals which was very very interesting to see but yeah Clive Owen Naomi Watts did a very good job I wish Naomi got more to do but yeah so glad to have this on blu-ray <laughs> can't wait to give this one a try lockout Guy Pierce, Maggie Grace I've heard so many people shit on everything Europa Corp like trans Porter, Taken, all those Europa Corp movies. If you ask me, Europa Corp is just doing what they do best, making fun action movies like Taken. Even though Taken isn't my favorite, I consider Transporter so much better. But like, Transporter's fun action movie, people like it for being a fun action movie. I don't really understand the hate. But yeah. Um,. I've heard there's some really bad CGI in this. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. But yeah. Can't wait to give it a look. It's also shorter than I expected it to be. <laughs> Sorry, my phone. Lost in the Sun, Josh Duhamel, Josh Wiggins. I don't know who that is. I, I'm very interested in these stories of like crooks meeting kids and like sorry that, that came out wrong crooks like making a friend and then uh 
really like thinking about what they've been doing their entire life like the kid like changes their life around I know some people will be like oh it's creepy no it's not you're looking to see things where they aren't but yeah I, I really like Josh Duhamel and I am really just looking forward to giving him more of a chance especially after um, Blackout that was fun why do people hate that movie Reprisal, reprisal, whatever. Frank Grillo, Bruce Willis. I like Frank Grillo a lot. Bruce Willis. How, how can you hate Bruce Willis? I know. It's a. It's another one of those cash grabs. But yeah. I, I'm still going to give it a chance. Just like I'm going to give pretty much every movie of his a chance. The only one of the Bruce Willis... I've only seen three of the Bruce Willis directed video movies, I think. I saw Extraction with Cal Lutz and Gina Carano. That was good. I thought it was good enough. Uh, White Elephant with Olga Kurylenko, Michael Rooker. That was the best one I've seen so far. I really liked that. That was Jesse V. Johnson. He did a great job with the directing in that. And, uh... It's like vengeance it was kind of a meh revenge movie with Clive Standen I can't think of what it's called but it was it was decent enough but yeah reprisal <laughs> sorry I'm coming almost done <laughs> speed kills John Travolta, that is a really bad picture that they used in that. But, like, this movie has so many fucking producers on it. But the director of photography is Andre Sekula. That's a really good director of photography, so it's probably at least going to look pretty. But there's got to be over 30 names in the executive producers. Like, holy shit. But, yeah, like, this cast is not that bad. John Travolta, Catherine Winnick, Jennifer Esposito, Michael Weston, uh, Jordi Mola, Amaria Nolasco, Matthew Modine, James Remar, Kellen Lutz. That's a pretty good cast. So yeah, I know this is another one of those direct-to-video cash grab whatever term people want to use, but it's still a film. And the last but not least, Street Kings been really looking forward to seeing this i want to see a good david ayer movie because sabotage was not it <laughs> and especially after hearing about sabotage being like edited down from a three hour cut to an hour and 49 minutes i can see why it didn't work for me because it was apparently supposed to be more of a slow burn crime thriller but yeah this i don't think had a bunch of studio fuckery happening with it so I cannot wait to see this. Really looking forward to it. And yeah, that was all of the hauls from whatnot. Thought I didn't take too long with that. Only about a 30 minute video. I'm gonna uh, write down the timestamps and then put those in the description. So, um, Hope y'all have a great day. If you have any questions for me about my condition, condition, as if I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm not sick, sick. I'm not like in the hospital or anything. I'm, I've just been very dizzy. I'll make a video on that. Maybe it'll be a short, maybe it'll be a longer phone video, but it's a lot easier for me to make a phone video. But yeah, I will if you need if you have questions for me <laughs> comment below uh thank you for supporting me all this time uh and yeah hope y'all have a great day <laughs>